Okay guys, YZ 250F cylinder has aluminium transfer from a piston that is grabbed. Uh, we're going to try a different approach to this. I've never tried this before, but hydrochloric acid removal technique. It's supposed to melt the aluminium and remove it and make the cylinder serviceable again. So if it hasn't gone through and damaged the actual Nicosil coating, give you a closer look. Okay, you can see there, it's pretty gnarly. But, um, from what I can tell, just from initial looks, I think if the aluminium comes out without too much uh, drama, I've got a feeling it might be okay ish. We'll work it out as we go. I thought the cylinder might be usable, as I've previously said, but on closer inspection I found some of the Nicosil lining missing, so they can feel that with my fingernail. There is like a, a hole in the actual coating, so it's deemed non-usable. You could probably get it redone. I might look at but I've never tried using this stuff hydrochloric acid we uh, dampen a couple of cotton tips which are there in the acid and then rub on the affected area to eat the aluminium away obviously I've got some hefty looking gloves And respirator to suit for fumes. Let's give it a go. I'll just drop some on there now, up close. You can see it bubbling. Yeah, we'll give it a go for a bit longer. Then we'll find out the extent of the damage at the other end where the hole is, or well, it looks like it was. Alright, multiple cotton tips later, or Q-tips I think some people call them. We've, um, we've managed to get And get the camera to focus some sort of cleanup going on it's still a little bit of those dark spots there's a little tiny spot at the top 
midsection where most of the thrust would have been when the uh, cylinder or the piston melted so it's um yeah turning out not as not as ugly as I thought it would but it's still no good due to the fact that um, the coating is missing uh, in one little spot there So it does work. I'll continue along until it's completely gone and we'll, we'll get back. You can see now our specimens are still bubbling. And we keep going. Alright guys, this is what you'd say would be the final product after removing all the um, aluminium. The colour you see there is either scratches, marks there, that black dot you see down the bottom is actually a physical hole. It's the reason I'm not using it. It's above the ring line. You can't really tell the ring line sort of there. And my mark's above my finger. I can feel that. You can actually hear it. All in all, the process works. I used a little bit of 400 on the end. Just to neaten that up, 400 grit paper. It's pity, but process works.